So my question to you was just in comparison to how you were operating before, do you find that working with the Kangen water is easier to maintenance or more difficult? Yeah, it's, it's a much easier maintenance uh, compared to having to use any pesticides. Right. Uh, the Department of Agriculture requires us to log everything that we spray. A lot of the stuff that is available on the market that's approved uh, is not safe to spray without coveralls or masks and stuff like that. So yeah. we've gone away completely from using any pesticide and using the common water. Yeah. And so we don't have to do any of the paperwork. I mean, we would spend like 30, 40 minutes before we spray just doing paperwork. And then we had to gear up to mix of the whole solution. Oh, shit. And then we would have to uh, gear up even more stuff to spray it. So it's now that we can just bypass all of that and we can go in a room like normally I would have to kick people out if they're working in here when I'm spraying. Oh, right. Now, like I have people leaving and I'm spraying right next to them, you know, yeah. like Anne was over there uh, pruning and I'm spraying, spraying right next to her, you yeah. know, and getting it all on my face. Yeah. And it's hands down like the cheapest and probably the safest way to go for pesticide. It's pretty killer. Like the little burning was I think from the slight uh, bit of mites that we did have come in. Yeah. But there's not even that much scratching on all these big leaves. Like, there's a little, but the leaves are clean below. Um, it's really done some killer, a killer job. Also preventing any type of molds. Um, going into the fall here, there, there could get a lot of bud rot. So mm -hmm. like ensuring that we're spraying that will also prevent any type. Because sometimes like, the buds get really big. It's usually systemic, where you'll have the fungus within the. Well, there's certain types as we try this, there's different ones that the fungus will be inside and the, the main colas would rot from the inside out. Ah. So you would, it would look beautiful on the outside and you would ah, open it right. and it will be black mold. Mm -hmm. Like just, and that shit's really poisonous really? to smoke, like you can't. Yeah. A lot of people were kind of saying, does the water create bud mold and oh, bud rot? Right. But because it's antibacterial, antifungal, there's, it doesn't have the environment to do that. And you guys have how many strains here? Uh, in the cultivation, we have over 40. 40 um, I think in here, we have about like 20. Or, well, actually, no, we might have about 30 because we have a whole outdoor getting ready. Yeah. So yeah, between 40 and 50 strains. I just needed to pop on and tell you guys how cool this is. Look at our baby. This is the Magic Super 501. Look at the epic setup they've got going on. They've got all the tanks, all the tubs, the 2.5, the 11.0. Look at these plants. And to give another example here, these plants came out right out of vegetation and they started alternating 2.5 and 11.0 right away. And they were able to uh, get really great uh, growth rate results as well as no bugs whatsoever in these first few weeks where they said they would for sure have bugs if they weren't spraying with us. It's all about balance. Yeah. You know? And that's what I realized. Like, even when I was going hard on the 2.5, it's better to go with the 2.5 makes it 11 because it's a base. So yeah, it's pretty killer.